Hey guys, this is Richard from Photo Video Entrepreneurs. I'm so excited to be creating this very first video blog for you guys. I thought it would be a good idea to share with you what we bring with us to engagement sessions, how we pack for our engagement sessions, and the importance of some of the equipment that we always bring with us. In the beginning of our photography career, we always used to walk around with a roller. I had my own roller, Andrea had her own roller. We used to pack lenses in there. I used to take three camera bodies with us. I used to even bring my macro lens to an engagement session. But throughout the years, like we started realizing, we started narrowing down what we really used, um, what we found was effective for us, what type of lenses defined our style and our the type of images that we're trying to capture. Seven years later, this is what we've come down to. To start, we photograph all of our sessions with Canon 5D Mark III's. These are our absolute workhorses. We have two of these cameras uh, in addition to two 5D Mark II's, the older model. They have been absolutely incredible. We photographed over a hundred weddings already. These cameras have done it all for us. Obviously, we bring our camera bodies with us and we also bring a few lenses with us. The lenses depends on what we're looking for, where we're going to be photographing and stuff like that. If we're going to be photographing like a garden or in a tight space or New York City, then we'll bring a certain types of lenses for that. If we know we're going to be in a more picturesque or more landscape type location, then there's going to be certain lenses that we'll bring for that. But to start, one of my absolute favorite lenses that I bring with us to all of our engagement sessions is the 50 millimeter 1.2 prime lens. I feel like I can photograph an entire wedding with this lens entire engagement session. We use this lens during our portrait shoots here in our studio. Although it is a little bit soft on the 1.2, we usually try to stick around 1.6, 1.8 aperture with this lens. It's a great lens to photograph vertical shots and portrait shots and also horizontal shots. It allows me to get really close to our couple, build that relationship with them because ultimately that is the most important thing for us during our engagement sessions. If we were to bring a 70 to 100 lens, this lens is going to force us to be very far away from our bride and our groom. And you know, of course, it is an amazing lens it really brings in that background but to start we always start off with either the 50 millimeter lens or the 35 millimeter lens these two lenses allow us to get really close with them allow them to get really comfortable with us really comfortable with having the camera like right in their faces the next lens that we always bring with us to engagement sessions is our 85 millimeter 1.2 it allows us to kind of bring in that nice background I always try to shoot with this lens at somewhere between 1.8 1.4, sometimes I even bring it down to 1.2 depending on the situation. If we're gonna be photographing, for instance, let's say in New York City, where it's very crowded, it's very busy, there's a lot of people, I will, I will absolutely use this lens at some point during my engagement session because I really wanna cancel out the background, bring our, our couple into focus, make them the main subject of the image. So the 85 millimeter 1.2 is definitely another lens that is always in my camera bag during our engagement sessions. Andrea and I are sometimes rotating between lenses depending on what we're shooting and where what situation we're in but for the most part the three main lenses that we bring with us to all of our engagement sessions are the 35 millimeter 1.4 the 50 millimeter 1.2 and the 85 millimeter 1.2 in addition to that, we do have a few other lenses that we sometimes bring with us to engagement sessions depending on the situation. For instance, we have our 7200 2.8 lens. Specifically for engagement sessions, it's not one of our favorite lens to bring with us, although this is one of my favorite lenses to photograph, but the reason that we don't bring with us to engagement sessions is because we're usually walking around, we like to pack light. I feel like we can accomplish exactly what we want to accomplish with the other three lenses. However, if we're gonna be doing, let's say, a destination engagement session, or if we're gonna be photographing in a location where maybe there's landscapes or there's cliffs or something like that, I usually like to do research before we go out for an engagement session, so I'll have a good idea of what we're gonna be working with. That's what really allows me to understand what lens to bring. The last lens that we bring with us to engagement sessions sometimes is our 2470. I only bring this lens if I know I'm gonna be working in a tight space or if I know I'm gonna be working in an area that has huge huge landscapes or maybe a beautiful skyline. Otherwise, I feel like the 35 millimeter is wide enough. I'll just step back or we'll step back and kind of get that nice wide shot. But for engagement sessions, like I said, we're trying to pack light. We're trying to, you know, get moving and we don't want to have to worry about bringing extra equipment with us. Another thing that we bring with us to every single engagement session is a five in one reflector. So let me show you what that looks like. This is our five in one reflector. 
It has a gold reflector, it has a white reflector, it has a silver reflector inside if I flip it around and it has a black screen as well as a translucent if I just get rid of the whole thing and I just leave the center of it. So we, we absolutely love this. We use this every single time during engagement sessions, specifically if it's a nice sunny day. I'll use this to kind of give our couple a nice shade. We'll use a translucent or if we want to bounce some light back onto them, we'll use this as well. So our five in one reflector is a must have. So how do we pack for our sessions? Some photographers carry book bags. Personally, this is the camera bag that I use for our engagement sessions. I've had this for many years. It's a Dom key shoulder bag. Um, it allows me to carry some lenses, some speed lights some modifiers, obviously like all of my other little things. But this is it. This is all I carry. I'll go around New York City carrying this thing, put it over my shoulder like this, and we are good to go. Just this is it. Oh, welcome. Welcome to my hey video. This is the bag that Andrea brings with her to engagement sessions. Um, this is not a camera bag. It's some it's little book bag. It's just a purse. It's just like a purse bag, whatever. It's waterproof, which is nice. Um, Andrea loves, I don't know. I just love to be comfortable, you know? Us all women, we like to just carry com comfortable things around. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right, so before I wrap this up, I wanna give you guys the last tip, the most important thing that we bring with us to all of our engagement sessions. And that is just a great energy, a great vibe. You know, we're very thankful to be photographing these couples' engagement sessions. We're very thankful to, that they chose us to photograph their weddings. So we really wanna bring that out and really wanna have a good time and give them a good experience. So definitely keep that in mind for your next engagement session. We hope you guys love this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe, please hit the like button button below. If you have any questions regarding the lenses that we use or the camera equipment that we use or some of the pictures that we shared with you in this video, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to share some more information with you, but that's it. So here we go. It's all yours, guys. Peace. I used to walk around doing engagement sessions with a stroller. I had my own um, stroller. Uh, what do you call this? A roller. There we go. You see? I just said stroller because Andrea's been making me watch too many stroller videos.